Welcome to QDOSTraining.biz. In the last video, it shows how to prepare the gun for corking. Having cut the tube and the nozzle at a 45 degree angle, or as you like it, we place the nozzle onto the point of the gap. Now press the trigger slowly, dispersing the material into the gap. Slowly slide the point of the nozzle along the gap to be filled. Don't, do not buy cheap mastic guns as they tend not to work correctly. As you see, applying pressure on the, no on the trigger and holding the nozzle onto the point where we wish to be filled. Sometimes you have to repeat the process due to the size of the gap. You may have to do it a couple of times. We clean off the excess with our finger or a sponge, a damp sponge or a damp cloth. As you can see, depending upon the gap, we had to go back over it again until that gap is actually completely filled. Now we're cleaning off with some water. Any excess, because there's nothing worse than leaving excess cork on surfaces that needs to be painted. Because then you start catching it or rubbing it down and it causes problems. Here we are, we're going to cork uh, the top of the skirting running right along and once you stop you hit the tab at the back of the cork gun and that will stop the flow of material coming through the nozzle again we're cleaning off using our finger uh, a lot of people just use their finger Depending upon the size of the gap, you may just need to have a sponge damped in water because this is a water-based material, decorator's cork. Decorator's cork has become quite a utility sort of filling in the uh, decorating. It's used not only for skirtings and windows, but there's any internal angles, ceiling lines and um, windows and door frames. To uh, remove the tube just click on the tab, pull the arm out and remove the tube. Thank you.